All right, here's the second part. Um, do about a 10 minute warm up again today. And it's, it's not, it's gonna be a lot of repetition. So it's not gonna be a, you know, a whole kitchen sink, like all the techniques in one. I'm gonna do one of those videos later, but these are all different uh, single task techniques to, to work on. And there's, there's just so many techniques you can do with the guitar. So I'm gonna, gonna focus on this with my own training. And you know what, I might make mistakes just to show you guys that, um, well, warming up is one thing and I, I don't always have time to uh, work on all my techniques, but I'm gonna use this uh, practice to, to give you some um, ideas of, of, of training that we could do. And you can watch me uh, improve as I do my training. Um, Cause I don't really believe there's such a thing as like becoming a master or an expert on the guitar. Uh, we're always growing and we can always improve and we can always train we can gain a lot of skills, but it doesn't mean we're gonna arrive at perfection. Uh, we can have perfect moments, I guess, depending on how you interpret that. But I'll avoid uh, philosophizing a little too much here and we'll get into practice. Setting up my metronome at 40 beats a minute. So this, <clears throat> again, is going to be a 45 degree slant, or a 45 degree angle, I think I'm gonna call it where we're not going flat into the string as if it was um, this flat surface maybe being parallel to the ground. It becomes at an angle, so the ramp goes through the string on this. That's why they have the ramp on the pick. You can use that angle to reduce um, resistance, right? So if you go flat into the string, you're gonna go flat in and get stuck. But if you go at, a, at an angle, it, it goes through. Like um, I had one teacher, he probably knows who he is if he sees this, who told me that it's like going, the pick goes through water, like your finger going through water. It's, it's like the string isn't there. Um, but it feels that way when you engage uh, no resistance. So then speed doesn't really so much become an issue, um, although requires training. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm starting very slow, working on the mechanics and the physics of movement, trying to get the most efficient routine and training for myself. And you guys can try this if you want as well. 45 degree angle. <clears throat> I'm gonna go through the string and then come back up. But when I come up, I'm gonna rotate out a little bit so that I don't come up and rest on the string above. Cause I don't want the resting technique on my upstrokes for this I want to do an escape where I come out and miss the string, or we call it a free stroke, or tirando in Italian. Spanish. I don't remember what's. But anyways, 45 degree angle, down and up. And I'm also going to not do the, the fallen wrist for this one. I'm going, and I'm not going to bend the wrist back because that's really unhealthy. Uh, increase a lot of tension. I'm going to try and keep it relaxed, but kind of straight-ish. And I may even let the, the hand float the palm either on the saddle or on one of the bigger strings as I move around. And as I move around, that's going to be an elbow shifting adjustment, right? If you're able to bicep rest, you're probably gonna be able to pivot this way from the elbow, which is ideal if you have the right size guitar uh, and the right chair, however you're sitting. <clears throat> if not, you may have to kind of lift this way, which I don't really like so much, but I might be doing that today. The other motion when you're on one string alternating, again, the motion comes from the wrist, maybe a little bit of forearm rotation when you come out. So wrist down, up, I have a little bit of forearm out. So here we go, down. We could try it different ways, trying it with time. I'm gonna try and go down on the click and up on the click. Let's try this. So down 45, up forearm rotation. Down, wrist, up, forearm rotation. Let's get that. And eventually the movements are going to be very small, but I might start big to exaggerate the, uh, the full extension. Well, that's forearm rotation. So wrist, forearm out. Wrist, down, forearm out. Okay. I'm going to change strings now. Going down. Second string. You're gonna notice on this trick or technique, 
I'm going to, again, 45 my angle, down and up, so I have less resistance. You see that? It's not flat, it's angled. Not flat, angled. Let me show you guys that. Not flat, angled. So I go straight through the string with no resistance. And I'm also going to try a rest stroke on my downs. So I go through, stop on the string below it. When I come up, I'm not resting on the string above. I'm coming out free. That's a forearm rotation out. Here we go. 45 down. Down, rotation out. Down, rotation out. Oh, but I'm going to bring my... in on this one. Kind of feels like a palm mute, although I'm not palming, muting the string that I'm on. I'm palming gently either the saddle or the bigger strings. Again, this is kind of really common for electric players. I think John McLaughlin and Al Demiola probably play like this. Down, up, down, up. But again, there's no tension. I'm not squeezing hard. I'm very relaxed and I have an open fist. Look at the other video for your pit grip. So curl the finger, open. I'm going to keep the fingers in on this one, not out, but I'm not tensing them. They're just relaxed and open. And the pick crosses near the tip and the thumb. my thumb covering all of the pick. A lot of people only cover half and then they have problems with control. So very light squeeze, but covering a lot of surface area, the pick really helps. Okay, I'm gonna shake it out to make sure I feel relaxed. <laughs> One more time. Talking a lot of technique. I'm actually gonna play it now. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Change your strings. Down, rest stroke, up, free stroke. Down, rest stroke, up, free stroke. Next string. Down, up, free stroke. So as I change strings, like you'll notice in the other video, I have to pivot either from the shoulder or the elbow. So up. That's not a hand wrist movement, that was an elbow shift. So again, it's kind of like we've got all these different um, appendages that can rotate in different ways, right? Uh, I'm talking a lot instead of playing. Let's practice. Here we go. First ring again. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Second string, down, up, Trying to keep really relaxed. If you need to relax, breathe. A lot of guitar players hold their breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Third string. Our brain and muscles need oxygen and we need to be relaxed. I really like the Muhammad Ali quote I heard from another guitar player recently. Again, he probably knows who he is. He said, fly like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. I think butterflies are really gentle. And bees are pretty precise. <laughs> All right, I'm talking too much. I'm not focusing. Let's focus. Fourth string. Down, up. Down, 45, up. Down on the rest. Resting on the string below it. Fifth string. Down, up. Up, down, up. Trying to find that angle where it goes through the string without resistance. I'm probably not 45. What am I, 25, 35 degree angle? Down, rest stroke, up, escape. Down, rest stroke, up, escape. Sixth string, up, escape. Down, rest stroke, up, escape. Down, rest stroke, up, escape. I might go faster. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. These are eight notes. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Six.
16 notes, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 5 E and a, 2 E and a. Micro breaks, we didn't talk about that. Um, every once in a while, take a break. If you start feeling tense, stop immediately. You don't always have to take an entire day break, but maybe shake the hands out, get some body movement, break up the nerve. Take a deep breath. Um, yeah, there was a practice routine with a lot of talking um, because I think in practice, we want to really be conscious about certain things and focus on individual tasks and then try and develop that technique. And then later we go into the whole free floating focus where, uh, you know, some people call it the flow state or the parasympathetic. It's kind of like you're walking, you're out, you know, when you're walking, you're not focusing on everything. Your, your, your focus is very, uh, a lot of things are in the periphery or peripheral vision. And, uh, Again, it's just like a sports person. You've got sports practice and you got sports games. You've got uh, guitar practice, guitar games. So I'm trying to show you a series here of practice, like deliberate practice, uh, which is the technical stuff that a lot of conservatory musicians or you know certain tech technical musicians just really focus on, and it's good. But I think we can have two different worlds or two different 